Hi everyone, welcome to Arts with Shruti. Today we will talk about arts in the times of coronavirus. Several artists were impacted by the Spanish flu of 1918, which caused 40 to 50 million deaths globally. So that got me thinking: How does a pandemic like coronavirus influence the world of art? Let us first explore the theme of isolation in paintings. Edwin Hopper was an American realist painter, active during the first half of 20th century. His paintings were centered on urban isolation in American cities. In the times of coronavirus, we are all Edwin Hopper paintings. His paintings highlight the paradox of loneliness in urban life, whether it is the man sitting in the corner of his or a lady drinking coffee in a cafe or the woman looking out of a window into the sunlight His most famous painting is Night Hawks which shows a couple and another man along with a waiter in a New York diner despite being in the same room each of them appear alone with no attempts at conversation The Spanish flu of 1918 affected several leading artists of the era. Edvard Munch, the celebrated Norwegian expressionist, is most well known for his painting The Scream. Munch contracted and survived the flu in 1918. He painted two remarkable works of art: self-portrait with and after the Spanish flu. While Munch survived, two art giants did not. Gustav Klimt was an Austrian symbolist painter, well known for his pattern-rich portraits characterized by mystical motifs. His masterpiece is The Kiss in gold tones and stylized forms. Both Gustav Klimt and his younger protege Egon Schiele contracted the Spanish flu and died in 1918. Egon Schiele was just 28 when he and his wife died from the Spanish flu within days of each other. In a short work life of less than a decade, Schiele established himself as an early exponent for expressionism. Bohumil Kubista was one of the founders of Czech modern painting and strongly influenced by artists such as Vincent van Gogh and Edvard Munch. He also died during the Spanish flu epidemic. Morten Schamberg was an American modernist painter and photographer. He was one of the first American artists to explore the aesthetic qualities of industrial subjects. He is considered a pioneer of the precision art movement and was one of the first American adopters of cubist style. Harold Kilman, the British painter, also died in the Spanish flu. During World War 1, when Walt Disney was 17, He joined the Red Cross. There he contracted the Spanish flu but survived and created the iconic Mickey Mouse 10 years later. India was deeply impacted by the Spanish flu. Nirala, the eminent Indian poet, writes in his book how the river Ganga was laden with corpses during the pandemic. Nirala who had lost his wife, elder brother and uncle to the pandemic, wrote, This was the strangest time in my life. My family disappeared in the blink of an eye. All our sharecroppers and laborers died. The four who worked for my cousin, as well as the two who worked for me. My cousin's eldest son was 15 years old, my daughter a year old. In whichever direction I turned, I saw darkness. Lastly, let us discuss Bauhaus. Bauhaus was a German art school operational from 1919 to 1933 and was incubated in the Spanish flu epidemic. The school was known for its approach to design built on simplicity and focused on everyday objects with a view to combine mass production with aesthetics. Coincidentally, the products designed at Bauhaus with their simple geometry were quite easy to clean in a post-pandemic world.
Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Colors enjoy from Shruti.